hey what's up um so i wanted to share my my first impressions of uh oh what the hell is it called redfall i just got done playing it for a bit i've been playing it all day today uh it's cool it's a really cool game i for the past couple of days i'd seen um one of my buddies on on discord has been playing a lot of it and uh I was like, well, it's good enough for him to keep playing it, you know. Um, so I was like, hmm. I even I sent him a message. I asked him what he what he thought about it and stuff, and he gave me a reply that I actually pretty much expected. Um, <laughs> like it's good, but it's uh, kind of could use some work or whatever, you know. But it's it's cool though. I mean, I, I whatever. Um, I love the game. I I uh, when I first started playing it, I was not impressed. Uh, it's visually it's um got a it's got a nice art style but it's not it didn't like suck me in right away or anything the further the more i play the more beauty i i um admire and appreciate as i play through it you know uh it's really cool um but also the, the main thing that was um a turn off immediately was the gunplay um it's a little too heavy and slow um, and I remember the kind of gameplay that it has is similar to like older games where they're trying to be realistic, um, which is fine. Um, you just got to be in the mood for that, you know, know what you're playing. Uh, I'm feeling a sneeze coming on, it always sucks. Um, but anyways, um, so it's it's a little it's a little janky, like it's a little clunky or janky, you know, it's a little just a little on the controller specifically. Uh, I'm planning to install the game. I've been, I was playing in the cloud, man. So I was, I was playing it and I was like, and there is sometimes, depending on the connection and how things are going, uh, the, the, the latency for streaming games can be a little horrible. Um, but most most of my, my playthrough of it, I couldn't really tell. Uh, so I, I, I was thinking, though, I was like, it, it does feel off on the controller because it does feel kind of like games when you have the controller and the controller has like a, a mouse feeling to it rather than a controlling a controller feeling um which is fine as long as you get used to it uh, you know take some pride it's not a big deal um but it is a little off uh, it reminds me of necromunda hired gun which i i beat that game that game was cool i've, I've been thinking on going back and playing it for a while now uh, that game was cool too but uh anyways in redfall uh also one of the first things i, I really loved about it was the music the music is so good. You know what this game reminds me of? Fear. It reminds me of a lot of games that are similar to Redfall. Um, a lot of them. Uh, you know, but uh, but the, it reminds me of Fear, the very first game, mostly because of the, the, the atmosphere and the music. The, it really sets the mood. Uh, it sets the tone, and it's freaking good, man. Um, it's not always perfect, but uh, but it's it's good. I really like the music. I like the atmospheres a lot. Like the environments, the way that the, the lighting and the um, it's cool. It's really cool. Uh, I also one of the first. I remember now. I, I, initially, like it's like with my first hour playing, I, I was like, eh, it's very generic. It's not too good looking. Also, I was having. I was when I first started playing that my um, streaming it was not going very well. It was a lot of blurry. I guess my connection was just having trouble with it or whatever and after depends you know fluctuates and all that um after a little while it cle cleaned up and it was playing you know smooth and smooth and perfect without all the fuzziness but that you never know what that um but uh, one of the first things i had also noticed was the the textures like of the, the ground and kind of just the environment general stuff also not very impressive um but the way i started thinking about it after a little like a couple hours of playing even probably an hour or so but what I, what it made me think of is like it's it's like playing a really really good indie game like a really good indie game so it's not priced like an indie game but it's a really good indie game so um that's what it feels like anyways and i like it a lot so far i, th I think if the price was 40 dollars for launch uh it could have made um initial reactions toned down there's so much hate on that guy i knew it too i just i don't know why i just knew it even right like a day or two before the game launched there was already hate on the game and i was like dude every time man it's just nonsense um anyways uh it's cool man i like redfall it's 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 a lot of fun i, I love the the atmosphere i love the um like the vampire stuff 
Uh, at first, I did not like the idea of having to switch my gun to to a specific one just so I could have a stake on the end of it because you have to have a stake on your weapons. And I guess the further along you get in the game, I mean, I played several hours of it and still haven't gotten to a lot of stuff, which is fine. I, I've been having, I look forward to playing more. I'm, I, you know, anyways, um, I had to take a break. Um, but uh, if you can like mod your weapons or something, and I have not done any modding yet, but I, there's a slot to add like. Uh, stakes to your gun so if your gun doesn't automatically come with one you can add one to it apparently i have not gotten to that point yet um but at first i didn't like it um but I, it didn't take long before i was like dude this is so cool especially because when you stake a vampire it's awesome i love the visual effect of staking a vampire that's it's like okay that was badass um and it's cool every time i love it every time it's really cool uh it's a, it's a little bit of a pain um well, it's it's normal. It's a normal part of like a game where you have to weaken the enemy first, and then they're they're weakened, and then you can finish them off with the you know your little trick ability or whatever. Um, so it's not like super hard or anything. Uh, you dwindle their health down, and then you can stake them. But it's it's cool. I love it. I love the stake effect. Um, it's fun, man. It's a lot of fun. Uh, yeah. So the gameplay aiming on a controller not the best, but again, it it's not hard to get used to. Once you get used to it, it's pretty easy peasy for the most part um it is it is rough when um when vampires are moving really fast and they're teleporting around you um because the controls even when you get used to them they are a little janky on a controller so i'm looking forward to trying it on the mouse and seeing how it plays on the mouse because i'm like hmm this should be a whole lot better with the mouse right you know um so uh but yeah when they move around really fast and stuff it is not fun. Uh, uh, fortunately for me, the first character I, I picked and I've been playing as has a, a robot that can taunt enemies. Like you have this little drone that follows you around and you can um, use your ability and it taunts enemies. So um, when I, I know I'm going to need some, I'm like, all right, well, I don't want to have a vampire teleporting all around me. I'm just going to pop out my little drone. So I, I imagine it's probably a, so much worse um, as a different character that doesn't have like a, a taunt machine, you know? <laughs> Although I have handled them when the, when the ability is not on cooldown. Like, it's not like you can't kill them or anything. It's just a pain in the butt um, because of how fast they are. Um, but basically, it's basically... Um, you kind of just keep your distance and wait until they stop dashing around so much because they do they don't like constantly dash they have like a little breathing period you know um they're designed that way i guess i'm assuming because that's what it seems like every time i see one but i mean they'll do like a little three dash little thing teleport around and stuff and then they'll have, they'll be there and you can shoot them up um but yeah, it, it's a cool game man i mean i like the visuals a lot they're they're uh, at first I didn't think the because I remember I'd seen some some comments and it's always a thing like it's, but I've done it myself as well when it when it's when the game has a certain art style art direction to it, um, complaining about like certain graphical things is always a funny thing because it's not meant to be super detailed in that sense and realistic like that's why when the rocks look cartoony and they're not finely detailed they don't look great and whatever. Um, but yeah, the first like opening kind of area was not impressive at all. Uh, it's cool. It's it's really cool. I'm my man, the water, the wave around the town is amazing. Like I, I oh my gosh, the concept and everything is so cool. It's like um, Fear, Bioshock, and Alice Madness uh, Returns or whatever. You know, it's uh, it's really cool. Uh, I like the game a lot. Um, uh, anyways, um, so. I just want to share my thoughts on it. Uh, so far, first impression. Uh, I am. I'm also. I'm curious how I will feel and what I'll think after completing the game. Uh, I'm. So far, I'm loving it. So far, I'm having a lot of fun. Um, so yeah. And I was just. Oh, uh, I. That said, I mean, I'm playing the game kind of free, right? You know, I played on Xbox Game Pass, so uh, definitely didn't pay seventy dollars for it, and I don't think I would. Um, I remember I, I, had, I had been interested in the game before it launched. Um, I remember seeing a trailer probably a year ago or so and thinking the game looked really cool. And then when it started coming closer to coming out, I just lost interest. Um, so I wasn't really paying attention. I was like, yeah, I'll wait until I'm in the mood to play it sometime. And I wasn't expecting to play it today. But like I said, I saw my, one of my buddies he just kept keeps playing the game. And I was like, you know what? Screw it. I don't, I'm not in the mood for anything else right now. I have like a hundred games installed right now. 
Um, and I was like, you know what? I'm not in the mood for anything else right now. Let me. I'm just gonna go try. I'm gonna go try. And I played it all friggin' day, man. Um, had a lot of fun. Like I said, uh, well, I would say my first half hour I was not impressed, but I was like, you know what? I'm gonna play this. I'm just. I'm curious where this is gonna go. And I just remembered right now too, like some of the opening tutorial stuff. I hate the tutorials in every game now because it all treats you like you've never played a video game before in your life. They're apparently they're trying to guide 10 year olds in their first time playing a video game you know it's just ridiculous bring back manual please oh my gosh put an in-game manual at the title screen you know put manuals on there stop putting the tutorial in the game just stop it uh put a freaking controller thing on in this in the options screen where you can look at what the controls are you know what i mean what like freaking holy crap anyways anyways it's a cool game um and i'll, I'll uh, i don't I, while I've been playing and I'm like, man, what am I going to write for my review? But uh, sometimes it takes me a while to start really putting my thoughts together. Like Gotham Knights, I didn't get a lot of thoughts together until I was like halfway, well, more than halfway through it. And then I was trying to figure out like, what am I going to say about it? Because I love the game, but like, how can I, where can I be specific about it, you know? But anyways, all right, I'm going to ramble on now. So I'll talk to you later. Bye bye. Good luck. Have a, have a good day.